five miles an hour. In the extended forecast for Upper East Tennessee for Wednesday through Friday, continued dry with cool. The West AA Region 1 playoffs began this evening in Greenville, Tennessee. Brian Moore was on hand and he filed this report. It was a banner night for the Big Ten Conference, whose teams won three of four games over the arch rival IMAC Tuesday night in the opening round of the Region 1 tournament at Hal Hunter Gymnasium in Greenville. The cardiac cyclones of Elizabethan had to go to overtime before disposing of the fighting cocks of Cock County. Six foot eight inch center Wade Wester poured in a game high 29 points for the fighting cocks. In the second half, little Corey Davis sparked Betsy with a couple of three-pointers and finished with 10 points. The game went into OT tied at 50 apiece. Elizabeth then iced the victory at the charity stripe in overtime. Travis Johns led the Cyclones with 15 points. Elizabeth then beat Cock County 60 to 50. The Cyclones faced District 1 champ and Big Ten rival Science Hill in Thursday night's semifinal contest. The toppers held on for a 67 to 58 triumph over Cherokee. Coach Dickie Warren and his Sullivan Central Cougars were looking to regain the form that made them co-champions of the Big Ten Conference. They faced District Two champions Jefferson County. Coach Marty Street's Patriots jumped out to the early advantage. In fact, Jeff County led by as many as 16 points in the first half, but Central rallied in the second half. Mark Mano paced the Cougars with 22 points and big man David Smith came through with 19 for the Cougars. Central closed within four points in the fourth quarter, but Jarvis Stacy got two dunks late in the contest that iced the win for the Patriots and ended the Cougars' season. The final was 80-71 to 71 in favor of Jeff County. Dobbins Bennett was looking to beat Morristown West for the third time this season. The Tribe led by as many as 14 points in the fourth quarter and appeared headed to an easy victory. But the young Trojans of Morristown West refused to give up and got to within two points in the final seconds. DV held on for a 79 to 75 win over Morristown West. In Greenville, Tennessee, Brian Moore, New Center 5 Sports. Take a look at those scores once again quickly. Uh, it was DB over Morristown West, Jeff County over Sullivan Central. In overtime, Elizabethan got past Newport, Science Hill defeated Cherokee. In Region 1 AA play tonight, it was Irwin, a winner over Gatlinburg Pittman by five. In Region 1 AA girls play, Happy Valley defeats Rutledge by two, and Powell Valley edge North Green 70 to 69. Gate City's Blue Devils enter this evening's Region 4 contest in VHSL playoffs against Grundy with a perfect record. They were 23 and 0 going into the night's game, but they narrowly escaped defeat at the hands of the Golden Wave. The Blue Devils took their home court advantage to Abingdon to take advantage of the Falcons' larger gym, and they needed every seat they could find tonight. Grundy staged a comeback late in the game behind the hot shooting of Bart Chambers, who drills a three-pointer there. Gate City, of course, has Kevin Morris, and Morris would add a jumper to the Gate City cause. Gate City hit a number of crucial free throws in the final minutes to preserve their lead. It was a great ball game. You see Arthur Ferguson make the second of two free throws. That made it 86-81 to 81 Gate City near the end of the game, but Grundy came right back, and Bart Chambers rebounds the missed shot. He puts it back up, he gets fouled, and he hits the free throw, so it's just a two-point, 86-84 lead for Gate City with eight seconds left. Grundy intercepted Gate City's inbounds pass, and then they came very close to saying the contest into overtime. You'll see the shot roll the rim, but drop off the other side, and Gate City coach Dave Mason was certainly pleased just to escape tonight's game with a win and the team's perfect record intact. We didn't play real well and uh, made some defensive adjustments the second half. I thought Coach Blackwell did a real good job of uh, adjusting our matchup zone, but they shot the ball real well. They got a fine basketball team, and they proved it tonight. They played us right down to the wire. 24-0 is a great year, but, you know, we try not to look at that record now, because like I told them coming up here, we're 1-0 and now. We zero and zero. We're 1-0 and now. We're on our march towards the state, and I believe they were looking more forward to that Rapid game than any game, because they know that's the one that'll get their foot in the door. Final again by two, Gate City now uh, undefeated still as they 24-0, 86-84 winners over Grundy. Virginia High stays alive in the playoffs. They defeated Blacksburg this evening, 83-78. They'll play at Richlands on Thursday night. Of course, Gate City has to travel to Radford. Meanwhile, in Region C action, it was Floyd County over Chilhowee by just a point, 78-77. Castlewood easily defeated Bland tonight, 95-65. In Region D play, Hayside defeated, or rather lost to J.J. Kelly, 76-69. J.I. Burton defeated Flatwoods 84 to 55 in the Kentucky playoffs in the 54th district. It was uh, in boys play Hazard defeated Dillscombe 66-44. 53rd district girls Fleming Neon defeated Letcher 
65 to 40. Quickly through the NBA, New Jersey gets a win uh, for their first game under new coach. This is the second straight year for Grundy to be in the regionals also, so both teams playing extremely well basketball over the past two seasons. Coach Dave Mason with an, an extremely tremendous record the past two seasons. I think last year he won 19, maybe lost six. This year 23-0, and, and we're going to have the play of the national anthem.
about set for basketball from Abingdon. PJ, it's interesting to note that Coach Dave Mason has pulled up Johnny Ghost from the junior varsity ranks to give his bench even more depth. <laughs> With the depth he already had, it's kind of hard to improve on that. But as we speak, Grundy is about to be introduced to Golden Wave. And the first player out is a 5'9 junior, number 10. Gary Perkins, of course, Perkins is a highly publicized player from Grundy. At the other guard, a six-foot junior, number 24, Keith Osborne. A senior forward, six-foot-one, number 22 is Burt Chambers. Chambers also a leading scorer for Grundy. A 5'9 junior at forward. 39, Jamie Justin. And a 6'2 junior, number 40, Vernon Smith. And now for Gate City Blue Devils, the home team here in tonight's contest. This is considered a home court advantage for Gate City. It is a satellite side because Gate City's gym isn't large enough. here before the contest and it looks like a mix mix, <laughs> mix match already pj and it's controlled by grundy number 10 gary perkins has it passes over on the right wing back to perkins at the top of the key looking for help to number 24 osborne back to perkins who's moved to the left wing osborne out to number 22 that is bart chambers they get to perkins thought about the three hensley out to guarding quickly perkins in the corner as it now on the left wing to chambers Back to number 22, Osborne. Chambers, back to Perkins, he's open. Won't take the three. Gate City playing a 2-3 zone. Chambers, shot short. And for the rebound, Perkins steals it. He's in the corner, dumps it into step. Back to Perkins, shot blocked by Shelton. Picked up by Pelton. Pelton gives off to Hensley. Hensley coming the other way. Hensley drives through the paint, pulls up her jumper, lost control to Morris, shots up, no good. And we're gonna have a foul called on Kevin Morris over the back. Gay City looking to be in top form. They see that foul to Rusty Pendleton over the back, his first. And Gay City's team form. The number 24, Osborne now, pushing it up the court for, for Grundy. Over to the left wing to Perkins, back to Osborne at the top of the key. Over in the corner to Chambers, number 22. Osborne, back to Perkins. Perkins on the left wing to Osborne. Gonna drive, shot over Shelton in the lane is no good. Rebound comes down the penalty. Pendleton gives off to Osborne Ferguson. Gate City with a three on three breakaway. Ferguson has his trip by Ferguson, picked up by Shelton. Shelton throws to Pelton. Pelton lost control, picked up by Osborne. Osborne pushes up court. He's got a three on three break, wisely holds it up, and the teams come back. Perkins has on the right wing, in the corner to Chambers. Chambers, cross court pass to Osborne. They get in the hands of Perkins. Grundy gonna be very patient in the right corner to Chambers. Back to Perkins, it's on top of the key, on the left wing, and they work it down to number 32, that is Jester. Back to Perkins at the top of the key. Osborne, shot from the three-point land, won't go, and Morris is fouled from behind by number 22, Chambers. Mark Chambers picking up his first foul. So neither team able to hit here early, PJ. 
as it might be a case of the early game jitters. Basketball comes in to Jason Hensley, number 32. Hensley, a senior for KC, working in up court, a member of the All Highland District first team. Hensley over to Morse. Morse from three. The shot is up. Good. That went over Chambers quickly, 3-0, Gate City lead. Perkins pushes up for Grundy, won't take the three, back out to Osborne. Perkins has it, being guarded by Morris. In the corner to Steph. Perkins from three, shot is no good over Morris. Rebound to Hensley. Hensley with a 4-2 breakaway. Lobs over for Ferguson, Ferguson runs it down, back over to Morris, stolen by Chambers, and Morris, and Chambers, and it's off of Chambers. Great defense by Gate City thus far. Morris will inbound the ball underneath his own bucket. Breaks it in to Hensley. Hensley back out to Ferguson. Ferguson just inside the three-point line. The shot is good for Arthur Ferguson. Randy just seems undermanned right now. Five-nothing to lead. Gage City up. Perkins has it on the right side. Gets it to step at the foul line. Blocked away. Shelton has it. Morris with a basketball for Gage City. A three-on-three breakaway. Tried to force it as picked up by number 40 of... Grundy. Take it out to Osborne. Osborne shot over Shelton. No good. Off the glass. He gets his rebound. His tip in shot is good. Gates City up by three. Five to two. Morris across the timeline for Gates City on the right side. Drives to the paint. Pulls up from the foul line. The shot is no good. Rebounded by number 32. That is Justers. Justers gets back to number 24. That is Keith Osborne. He'll slow it up and bring it up for the Golden Wave. Down by three. Five to two. Over to Osborne. Osborne has it on the left wing, pointing inside, gets it into uh, to Chambers, step in the corner, looking for help, back out to Perkins. He thought about the three, Yates City putting great pressure on Perkins. Over to Osborne. Now it's Justers, back to Osborne. Perkins from three over Morris. Shot is short, Shelton another rebound. Yates City giving Grundy the three-point play stolen by Grundy. And again, the Golden Earth came work some time off the clock. They get it in the corner to number 22. That's Osborne. Chambers, excuse me, his shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Yates City's Morris. Morris slows it up, working it up court for the Devils. Up by three. Morris, quick left to Hensley. Hensley from three, the shot is up. Bang, Jason Hensley. And the three-pointers accounting for six of Yates City's eight points. They lead eight to two. Four minutes left to play in the first period. They give it to number 32, Justers. Perkins has it in the corner, right corner to Osborne. Chambers is open from three in the left wing. His shot is no good. Rebound to Morris. Morris slows it up. Gates City now can increase their lead if they score here. Morris pulls up from three. The shot is up. Good for Kevin Morris. Three three-pointers for Gates City, and the score is now 11 to 2. We're under four minutes, 335 to play in the first quarter. Number 24, that's Osborne. Looks over to Perkins on the right wing. Back to Osborne. Move to the left. Justers has it. Back to Osborne. Grundy very patient for its offense. At the foul line is Chambers. His running layup no good. Grundy gets the tip rebound. Chambers has it. Now he's in the lane. Back to Osborne. Perkins to Chambers. Overshot over Shelton is good. Instantly brings the basketball into Ferguson. The score 11 to 4. The Devils up by 7. Ferguson slowing it up. Grundy looking to go to an extended zone. Morris again from three. The shot is up. No good. Rebounded by number 22. Gates City playing a little out of control. And a foul going to be whistled on Morris from a reaching foul from behind. It'll be first foul on Morris. Second team foul for Gates City. And Grundy will take the ball out on the far side of the court in the, new, in the front court. It's number 24. That is Keith Osborne. Osborne in the corner to Chambers. Chambers looking for help. Back to Osborne. They work it to Perkins. Perkins has not been a force to step. Perkins can take the three, but he won't. Out front to Chambers. Step has it. Looking for help. Dumps it off to Perkins. He's on the left wing. They get it over to Osborne. And to Chambers in the right corner. He's been guarded by Morris. Chambers, bullet pass. And they work it to step. Quickly penalty out to meet him. Perkins to Osborne, shot from 16, no good. Perkins with the rebound, it's good. Gate City up by five now as Perkins has cut the lead. Hensley of Gate City will work the ball up court. 2-12 remaining in the first quarter. Lob inside for Shell. Shell comes down with it in a paint, drive, shoots, good, and the foul. And I think that's what you're going to see Gate City do. Go to the big man from now on. 
And the big man will go to the line looking to complete the three-point play. The Devils with a chance to increase their lead to eight. Foul is on number 22, Burt Chambers, his second. Sheldon, eye in the mark, shoots. No good. Rebound tipped up by Pelton. Rebounded by uh, number 10, Perkins. And Kerry Perkins leading his team down court. They get it to Osborne quickly to a cutting step. Shot over Chris Shelton is good. Ferguson for KC works it up quickly for the Devils. Ferguson looks for help. Lobs in for Shelton. Shelton moving strong in the middle. Shoots short. Rebounded by number 32 of Grundy. The Golden Wave sticking right with the Blue Devils. As Perkins brings it across the half court stripe, sets up his team's offense. Chambers from three. It is good for number 22, Burt Chambers. Chambers has been most of the offense. Hensley takes it the full length of the court. The layup is no good. And charging on Jason Hensley. And Gate City getting a little hot doggies out there. Gonna have to slow down. 13 to 11 the score. 129 left to play in the first quarter. And already. Number 24, Osborne over to Perkins, back to Osborne at the top of the key. Perkins is open for three, but instead passes back to Osborne. Perkins from the left wing for three, shot is good, and three, and Grundy is in the lead. Morris for KC will work the ball up court. 114 remaining in the first quarter. Morris sailing down the offense for Gate City, passes to Hensley. Hensley on the right corner, back to Morris. Morris thought about the three, drops to the paint, stolen away by Perkins. And Perkins kicks it out of bounds. It'll still be Gate City ball. Jason Hensley will bring the basketball in now for Gate City. As Hensley triggers the ball into Ferguson. One minute exactly left in the first quarter. The Devils down by one. Lob comes in for Pelton. Pelton with an easy layup. And the layup will fall for Rusty Pelton. And the lead seesaws back to Gate City. We're under a minute. Fifth 49 seconds left. As Osborne pushes it out court, number 24. He's on the right side, looking in the corner, gets it to number 32, that's Justice. Double team, back out to Osborne. Perkins, open for three, inside to Chambers, shot over Chris Shelton, it's good. Chambers has caught on fire here early for the Golden Wave as he has contributed most of the points. Ferguson across the timeline, 25 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Basketball to Hensley, Hensley lobs for Shelton. Shelton gets Smith, the layup off the backboard, no good, rebounded by Grundy. Perkins pushing it up, 15 seconds left to play. Looking for some help. He'll hold it up. Grundy going to play for the last shot. Ten seconds. Over to Osborne. Chambers from three. Won't take it. Instead, back to Perkins. Five seconds left. They're going to have to hurry to get the shot off. Osborne from just inside the three line. It is good. So at the end of the first quarter, the Grundy Gold Wave have come from behind and taken the 18-15 the to 15 lead, P.J. Part of the first quarter. They have just gone cold. They have started playing a little out of control and just not hitting their shots when they have to. Grundy, on the other hand, playing a whale of a game. Number 22, Burke Chambers, already with nine points in the contest, won a three-pointer. Gary Perkins coming out with five points, and he also hit a three-pointer. So Grundy playing great defense also on Gate City, blocking them out of the board. It looks like the key to this contest, Big J, is going to be if Gate City can shut down Chambers in the inside. Chambers is not only hitting them from the inside, he's hitting them from the outside. Take away Chambers, you may take away some of this Grundy offense. Chambers is a 20-point averager for Grundy, but he already has two fouls, so that could play a good factor. Chambers with two, the only two for Grundy. Pendleton and Hensley each have one for Gate City. This Grundy team is no flu, PJ. As you said, they had to play tough to get here, and indeed, they're showing why they are in the first round of the regional playoffs. Hensley brings the basketball into Ferguson. Gates will have the ball to start the second quarter. Ferguson working around to the right side. Passes back to Hensley. Hensley directing the offense. Pulls up from three. The shot is up. Short. Rebounded by Shell. Shell goes up. In for Chris Shell. And there Gates City takes control of the boards. 18 to 17 to score. As Osborne, number 24, has the ball over to Perkins on the left wing. Looking inside. They get it in the corner to Osborne. Back to Perkins, to step in the left corner. Corey Perkins, Terry Perkins has it. Shot by Chambers, no good in the lane. He gets no rebound. His jumper, no good. Rebound off of a Grundy player. He throws it back in, but it's going to be in the backcourt. Hensley saves it into, let's see who's got it, Hensley. Hensley, this is the Pelt. The Pelt's layup is good. Wow, that's it. And Perkins looks like he twisted his ankle. He's hobbling up 
court, he is hurt. And Eric that's Perkins, number 10 for Grundy, looks to be hurt as he already has some bandages on his hamstrings, and I think he twisted his ankle. That could be very detrimental to this Grundy team as Perkins is one of the keys to their team. Score 19 to 18, Gate City taking the one point lead early in the second quarter. 7.05 remaining in the half. As the Devils had an eight point lead and Grundy has fought back and took the lead and Gate City now on top. Okay, Osborne to Perkins on the left wing. Back to Osborne, he's gonna drive in the lane. Dish off to Chambers from three. His shot is good. Arthur Ferguson brings the basketball in to Hens Hensley. Devils down by two as Hensley breaks the timeline. Working around to the right side to Morris. Morris pulls up from three. Short, rebounded by Shelton. Shelton against Smith, the shot is up. Short, Pelton with the rebound. Goes back up and in. Gate City banging the board top. It's tied up 21. Perkins gonna drive. Thought about the shot instead, back to step. Chambers is again open in the corner. Grundy trying to work it to him. But it's Osborne from three, and his shot is good. This Grundy team is on fire, P.J. hitting from everywhere as they have taken the three-point lead. Gate City calls a timeout. Coach Dave Mason may decide to go to a man-to-man -man here, P.J. It's now 24 to 21 to Grundy. Grundy has went out and they have shot the three-pointer early on in this contest. They were cold from that range, but they have gone on fire, and that's exactly the way Grundy plays. They are erratic from the outside. We were sworn to mention that, P.J., the paper. The coach said that this team, when they're hot, they're hot, and when they're not, then they can't hit the bucket. He said Chambers was their man. When Chambers plays good, they play well. And when Chambers is off, Grundy has an off night. And they are setting picks galore for Chambers down here on the other end. Gage City has been playing pretty good basketball. It's just the fact that Grundy has hit everything they've thrown up. 6-14 remaining in the first half. The Devils down by three, 24 to 21, here in the first round of the Region 4 Division 3 playoff. And from Abingdon, Virginia, Ivan Sanders, P.J. Grinzel bring you play-by-play -play action of tonight's contest. Jason Hensley set to trigger the ball in now for Gate City as Tony Bellamy has checked into the game. Hensley working it up court for the Devils. Looks for Morris, can't find him. Back to Bellamy, Bellamy inside to Shelton, and Shelton is charged with walking. And as they announced, Tony Bellamy into the game. They basically off of the bench to come in there. As again, it's Osborne bringing the ball up, looks to his bench, checks with coach Greg Rowe, and he has the ball now. Being guarded by Bellamy again, as Ivan said, Gates in a man-to-man -man defense. It's Perkins being guarded by Hensley. Drives, dishes off, nice pass to Lane. But he traveled three seconds, excuse me. JC now can get back within in the contest. They are down by three with 5.45 remaining in the first half. Hensley will work the ball of court for the Devils. Breaks the timeline. Hensley lopping in from Pelton. Pelton wide open, goes up, shoots no good, but he will draw the foul from number 32, Justers of Grundy. That'll be the first foul on Justers. They had 13 foul on Grundy. Rusty Pelton have an excellent game here so far. P.J. has six points in the first half. Pelton, Eisenmark shoots, no good. One more shot coming up for the young man. Rusty, the only starting junior on the team for Gate City. The shot up by Pelton, no good. And Pelton strips it and picked up by Chambers of Grundy. Gate City.